Obeticolic acid is a bile acid, is a semi-synthetic bile acid, that means that in part has been engineered in the lab, uh, coming from chinodeoxycolic acid, which is a physiological uh, uh, bile acid. Uh, the interest uh, in, in this bile acid is as the most potent or a most potent uh, and specific uh, um, substances that can activate uh, a particular receptor, which is called Farnesoid X receptors, uh, which in turn, once activated, is responsible for regulating the metabolism of bile salts. At this Congress, it has been uh, presented uh, some data related to an extension of a type uh, uh, of a phase two clinical trial, uh, demonstrating that the favorable effect on the biochemistry, that means uh, uh, alkaline phosphatase, bilirubin, and transaminases, are prolonged over time. And uh, they represented also the result of a phase three uh, clinical trial uh, confirming the efficacy of beta colic acid in patients with primary biliary cirrhosis who were intolerant to use of desoxycholic acid who had not responded to this drug. So the availability of a new drug able to obtain good results in this patient is of paramount importance. And the trial demonstrates that obeticolic acid given to patients who were intolerant or didn't respond to ULSO was able to improve alkaline phosphatase, bilirubin, and transaminases, which are biochemical signs of the efficacy of the drug. Then we had also some contribution on some unrelated field. Uh, we had the, the demonstration that the administration of obeticolic acid in patients with cirrhosis and portal hypertension is able somehow to reduce the portal hypertension in about half of cases. And this may be important in perspective because obetacolic acid may represent an adjunct to the current treatment of portal hypertension. And then in my view, there were two very important studies on the experimental fields in rats with experimental cirrhosis made by two, two independent uh, groups where it was uh, demonstrated that the administration of beta colic acid was able to reduce bacterial translocation from the gut, which is very important because it's a phenomenon which, is, uh, which represents the background for the increased incidence of bacterial infection in patients with advanced cirrhosis and because the inflammation that brings about is responsible for many complications of advanced cirrhosis. So in perspective, this may be a most interesting effect. Thank you.